morning guys, Jungle Bob here. So today's video is going to be on putting a spindle back on a Husqvarna zero turn lawnmower. Uh, many of you guys uh, saw my video last week uh, where I put a pulley on it. I ran it for a few hours, or it ran for a few hours, and uh, the bearing locked up on it, uh, and the spindle housing broke. Let me show you what that looks like. Here's a picture of the old spindle. You see uh, where it cracked right there? This bearing locked up. The bottom side still looks pretty good, but uh, that's obviously shot. Now here's the new one that we're going to put on to replace it. It comes with, uh, this was like $38. It comes with, you know, the whole assembly. Right. Washer. Important piece. Uh, Got to have that washer. It comes with four bolts. And I'm going to use a little blue Loctite on it. Uh, my plan is, because I'm lazy, and uh, where this is on the moor, it's on the outside here. So I'm going to go ahead and put the blade on the bottom of this, the spindle. And then uh, push the spindle up and get my bolt started and put it on that way. So I'll be back uh, when we're ready to put it together. So we're back here, uh, <clears throat> notice I've already got the blade attached to the spindle. Now this is not really the proper way to do this, but it will work. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take, my bolts here, put a little blue Loctite on them, you don't need a whole lot. a little bit on each one of them. I'm taking a shortcut because I can. And another reason is because uh, because my jack stands are being used somewhere else or I jack this all the way on up and, and do it that way. But this will work. This is just a little more. As Mick would say, it's time to get down and dirty. Literally. Uh. So, just slide this right. Hope you guys can see. Bring you a little closer. Yeah, here we go. So, th this thing is so light. I mean, if it was a big big one it would be a problem but you can just do this by hand basically get it lined up yeah just screw it in there hand tight do two corners first make sure you're centered up Easy peasy, guys. Now these are, uh, it came already, they had already threaded them for me. But sometimes these kits come uh, with the self-tapping screws. And you have to tap them yourself. In this case, I didn't have to do that. Get your socket. I like to do it all by socket first, and I may, I may hit it with the uh, impact, but I doubt it because these uh, these spindles are made out of aluminum housings, and they're very easy to strip these bolts out or crack it. So get everything good and smooth first. Uh, 
Oh. Shazam. I'll be right back. Come back. I had forgot to put this on this piece on right here before I started. So uh, anyway, just line that up. No biggie. Just got in a hurry. So we'll try this again. Said it's a self tapping housing. So. And hand tight. Same thing we were doing a while ago. It's early here in Birmingham. I, I got up about uh, 5 30 this morning. Still haven't had breakfast yet. It's in there cooking right now. But I did have a good dinner last night. Pork chops and mashed taters. Baked beans. Loctite should uh, be all we need. There we go. You can feel it when you get in there. Because if you go too tight, you'll just, if you use an impact, you'll end up stripping those threads out. So now we should be good. Everything turns smooth. All right. All right, next step, uh, this washer goes next, right up here, and our knee pulley. Be right back. Now we've got more back down on the ground. We're going to tighten this up. We're going to cheat again. <laughs> kind of pull this 
Now we're gonna have to we're gonna end up having to jack it up anyway and tighten that blade back up. See how that's doing. We don't like that anyway. That's that's probably gonna be it for right now. Yeah, so I thought I was going to take a shortcut, but I ended up having to jack this up anyway because there's a lot of play in this pulley. That's because the, the blade came loose. So, now I'm going underneath to tighten the blade up. Alright guys, I think that's it. Now all that's left to do is put the belt back on. gloves out for this. Uh, there's no uh, little thing I can put a socket to or anything to get the tension. So. Get the old gloves out. You don't want to pinch yourself, but uh, we're all good now. Excellent. Make sure we're all on the back and it's came off the pulley on the back side. <coughs> Need to make sure you're on all the way around good. Everything turns freely. Double check it. That's it for now, guys. Uh, I do have another problem that has arisen overnight. Uh, got this in here. And they tried to take the cover off, and you see right there, they've broken that bolt off. That happens to be a coil bolt. <clears throat> I don't have any easy outs to get that out with. I, I don't even know how I'm going to get that out. I guess I'll drill it out. I'm not sure. Anybody's got any 
any good suggestions on how to get that out quick and easy, leave me some comments down there in that comment section. Anyway, thanks guys. Uh, please like and subscribe. Give me that thumbs up. And uh, appreciate it. Everybody have a great weekend. Juggle Bob out.